aid agency's effort to bring relief to Haitians hit by a strong earthquake is being complicated not just by the damage it wrought but by flooding and washed out roads from tropical storm grace. People have been asking for tarps a lot, blankets, construction materials to rebuild their home after the quake, Christy Delafield, managing director of communications for Mercy Corps, told NPR from Haiti Wednesday. But the effort to get those materials where they're needed was made nearly impossible when the storm system soaked the area, triggering mudslides and rockslides. Citing the U.S. Geological Survey, Delafield says there have been at least 150 mudslides and rockslides near Lassil, an area in central Haiti that was hard hit by Saturday's quake and then drenched by grace. It's made it very difficult to get to people, Delafield said. There are places where we were driving through a foot of water to try to kind of cross a place that they're like, yeah, this is a bridge. And I'm like, this looks like a river. Making matters worse, many public buildings that might normally offer shelter during a storm, such as schools and churches, were damaged or destroyed in the earthquake. There's nothing more eerie than walking into a half-destroyed building and seeing yesterday's lesson on the blackboard as if nothing had changed, Delafield said. Some school buildings, she said, looked like somebody stepped on the roof and it just folded in on itself and collapsed into the floor, the kind of thing that just seems unimaginable. In one school that remained largely intact, all the desks were moved out. As many as 200 people, desperate to find shelter, packed into the floor space. People are sleeping on the floor of the classrooms, Delafield said. They're sleeping side by side and like head to toe. Classes were scheduled to start on September 6, she said. More than 30,000 people live in the area of Lassil. According to Delafield, 90% of their homes were affected by the earthquake and about 50% of their homes were destroyed completely. She describes the scene, one house has some damage, the next couple of houses are destroyed. It's just really devastating to look at, and there are just many, many people who do not have a place to stay, do not have a roof over their head. In the face of widespread damage, there are signs that small-scale commerce is still functioning, Delafield said. She described seeing roadside shops that have been able to reopen, and seeing vehicles passing by, loaded with supplies such as crates of water and tarps. Also back at work, she said, are the women known as Madden Saris, small-scale roving entrepreneurs who sell plantain chips and other food and basic items. Mercy Corps relief effort ranges from giving some 5,000 families cash assistance to distributing 3,000 kits containing essential supplies such as water purification tablets, soap, diapers, and tarps. It will also provide thousands of solar lanterns.